Famous Autopsies Part 72, John Lennon. John Lennon is one of the most famous singer-songwriters of all time. He was a deeply adored member of the Beatles, but also achieved success as a solo artist. On December 8, 1980, a very disturbed Mark David Chapman camped outside of the Dakota in New York where Lennon lived. At one point, he received Lennon's autograph before he left for the recording studio. What Lennon didn't know was that Chapman had been stewing and plotting for months. He had a deep obsession with the renowned novel The Catcher in the Rye and saw himself as the protagonist Holden Caulfield. Like the main character, Chapman hated phonies. He detested Lennon's remarks about the popularity of the Beatles and found him ingenuine for singing about a world free of possessions while living a lifestyle full of them. At around 10.50 p.m., both Lennon and Ono exited their limo on 72nd Street to enter the Dakota. Both walked past Chapman. According to witnesses, Chapman yelled out, Mr. Lennon, and opened fire. His autopsy revealed that Lennon was struck twice in his left shoulder from behind, which damaged soft tissue and lacerated muscle. He was also shot twice in his left, middle, and upper back. One bullet sailed at an upward trajectory, becoming lodged in the left side of his neck. The other went straight through his chest, perforating his lung lobe. He had blood staining in his mouth and clothing due to internal bleeding in his throat. He died as a result of blood loss secondary to multiple gunshot wounds, and unfortunately, it wasn't an instant death. 